Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski. Welcome back to another episode in the series Loot from One Hour, a series where I catch a specific Pokemon for one hour and show you guys the results. Today's Pokemon is going to be Abra. Abra is an interesting Pokemon for a lot of reasons. First things first, it's kind of difficult to catch because obviously Abra will try to teleport as it's its only move every single turn it can within battle. So the best bet is going to be to spore it once and then go ahead and spam Pokeballs or whatever balls you want to until it catches. And sometimes it's going to wake up and teleport away and that's okay. Abra is an uncommon encounter, I believe here on Route 24 and 25. That's going to be your best bet here in Kanto. I'll show you guys that location in a quick sec, but we still have some more information to cover. Now, Abra is a really interesting Pokemon when it comes to selling, because normally when you would sell a Pokemon, you would just worry about the IVs and maybe the nature and stuff like that, and the egg group, of course, but Abra actually has a really huge other use or niche or desire when selling is Synchronize. People need synchronized Pokemon for hunting of their own or for catch events. Synchronized Pokemon are super, super important for catch events. Uh, being able to have a higher chance of getting Pokemon with the same nature as you in the wild. For those that don't know, Synchronize, if you lead your party, gives you a 20% chance for the wild Pokemon to match the nature, which can help you get a little bit of bonus points during a catch event. So these are super wonderful for that. So if you get a good nature alongside the ability Synchronize, you could sell that for some decent cash. But anyways, I think that covers all the, the details on Abra and all the information we needed to. Now we can go ahead and head over to the location. So as normal, you're going to need a catching Breloom or Smeardle. You're going to start off here in Cerulean City and Kanto. I can show you guys in the map really quick. Just Cerulean City and Kanto up here in this top right corner. Go across Nugget Bridge. Come on over here to this little patch of grass alongside this water patch. And then just run back in here. Run back and forth. And that's it. It's going to be an uncommon encounter. I'm going to go ahead and catch them here for one hour. And then I'll see you guys with the results. All right, here I am with all the Abras. We ended up with around 22 Abras in total. Pretty fantastic, pretty happy with that. And three Twisted Spoons. So we'll go ahead and check out all the values on that. But quick thing first, if you guys are enjoying the content, please do make sure to like the video and subscribe for future Poke MMO content. All right, now I've got my trusty calculator there on the bottom right to help us keep a price check. And first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and cover the Twisted Spoons. So we do have three of them. It looks like they're going for around, uh, on the GTL, 5K a piece right now. I'll go ahead and put that as 15K as our starting price. And I won't actually be releasing or getting rid of any Abras, which normally isn't the case. Normally with Pokemon, uh, you end up releasing a ton because they just don't really have any value, but Abras actually have an extremely solid base value of a minimum of 4K. So we're looking at, like, even if none of these had any value, what is it, 22 times 4K? It's a minimum of what, 88K? I believe, my hopefully my math isn't too far off, that's a minimum of 88k made, and we haven't even factored in IVs or, you know, synchronized, synchronized Pokemon or anything of the sort, so Abras are looking at least 100k an hour without any sort of thinking into the selling, so I'm excited for this one. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you, the one downside of doing Abra as your sort of farmer catching Pokemon is that the selling process and the pricing process is much more involved and much more complicated, as you can see by multiple piles here, but I think I've got it deciphered. So, the first pile up here is going to be our base Abras at 4k apiece. These are our synchronized Abra, we will have to individually price those. These are our timid Abra, so these guys have nature. Um, but then nothing else going on, but Timid is the most uh, wanted nature. I'll actually go ahead and bring this Modest Abra down here as well. Timid and Modest Abras, look out for those. Those should go for, a, you know, a little bit more than a base price Abra. Um, and then these are all the 1 times 31s. We don't even have a 2 times 31 in here. So all of these will be individually priced. These will be individually priced, but these all match. Uh, these match, etc. But we're going to go ahead and add those 9 uh, 4k cost Abras. It's going to put us at, what, plus 36k, I believe, if my math isn't too far off. So, 51k there so far, including these. Now, we can go ahead and price check. I'm going to check out, I think, let's go ahead and cover these bottom bottom couple first that have nature. The synchronized might be a little more complicated, but I'll show you guys how to price check everything. It, this, this might be a little more complicated. This might be a little more involved. So, if you look for an Abra that is modest, the cheapest one is 10k. Now, this has been listed for 7 days which is quite a while, I will not lie. Uh, I think 10K is a mostly fair price, I'm not gonna lie. I think a more fair price might be around 8K. I'm gonna go over the same for Timid as well. Timid is actually slightly more desired. The issue being, I will show you guys, I checked Timid right before this. Um, so the cheapest Timid one is 5K, and it's been listed for only an hour, but then the next one is 22K, and it's been listed for a long time. So I think Timid, I think Timid, I'm gonna go ahead and list for 10K a piece, which I have two of them. 
And then I think the the modest one is female, though. That is actually really important. They can breed it with an Edgar Pokemon instead of a Ditto. I think this one was male. I think I feel really comfortable listing them all for 10k. This is one of the listings slash prices that you guys might disagree with me on, which is totally fair. I'm super happy to, you know, take your guys' criticism and feedback in the comment section below. You guys can let me know what you guys think about this price, what you guys would have priced it for personally. Let me know down below. But I'm going to mark these as uh, 10k a piece. It's going to put me up to 30k. That's definitely a judgment call. Uh, and that is something that is based on a lot of experience of, you know, trading, using the GTL, and many, many years of that. But if you disagree, nothing wrong with that. All right, now I went ahead and checked all of these synchronized guys, and I literally just checked for each nature. I'm not going to lie. I think it's go ahead. It's worth it to go ahead and do that. Now, sometimes you're going to find synchronized Abras that are worth a decent amount of money, either because a specific catch event is coming up, especially like a Squirtle catching event or like a starter, like a Charmander. Any sort of really popular catch events can really drive the price of synchronized Pokemon up, but... All of these guys, they're not great natures, brave, relaxed, gentle especially, really not great natures. Um, all of these, I'm just going to mark as 4k. I think it's super fair, super reasonable, so we're going to go ahead and add, what is that, 12k to our total price check, putting us so far at 93k. We still have all of our, the biggest crop left. We still have all the 1 times 31s and even a 2 times 31 to cover, and a 2 times 30 I guess, but so we still all have, have all the best average to cover, and we're already at 93k. All right, so the first one I'm going to price check is one of the more complicated ones, I guess. It's going to be this Abra. So I'm actually going to price check. I'm going to be price checking a lot of these IV Abras as different things, and I'll try to explain my thought process. So you essentially want to price check these based on their IV placement. So for example, this Abra is 2 times 30 in HP and attack, and I'm going to sell this towards the egg group, if that makes sense. I'm going to sell this as the humanoid egg group and check it as that because no one's ever going to want an abra with an attack stat so it makes no sense to search up abra as two times 30 in those stats no one needs an abra with 30 attack so someone you have to understand what is someone buying my pokemon for what is someone using this for someone's going to be using this as a humanoid egg group breeder to breed up something like a conkleter or like a machamp or mianfu slash mianxiao something like that you have to understand what are people using this pokemon for so the cheapest two times 30 is listed for around 5k i think it's a super fair price i'm going to go ahead and tack that onto the total price check and knock this guy up here a little to make sure to note that we price checked him now, this next Abra is a perfect example of an Abra that we're actually going to price check as an Abra because it has a 1 times 31 in special attack, which is obviously a super desired stat on Abra. So, it's really complicated to understand, I believe. I think it just takes a lot of uh, experience and practice and knowledge to understand how to price check things in certain ways. Understanding why people are buying Pokemon is really difficult. If I were to sell this Abra towards the aid group, it only would have netted me around 3 to 4k, I believe. But if I sell it as an Abra with 31 special attack, it'll net me around 9k. So there is a really noticeable difference. And I'll go ahead and show you guys that. So if I were to just do aid group, uh, humanoid aid group, and then third with real attack, it'd only be around 35. It's such a difference. 3K versus 9K. Uh, so please do make sure to try to learn, try to understand that, but it is a really complicated process, and that's part of why I really like this series and really like videos like these. Someone pointed out in the comments below recently, not only does this series teach you how to make money and teach you like what Pokemon are really good for catching for money, it also teaches you how to price check, how to sell Pokemon, uh, where Pokemon are located, and everything of the sort. I think this series is a fantastic way to teach so many different Pokemon concepts in a pretty succinct video format. All right, now let's cover the 2 times 31 Abra, and then the leftovers are just 1 times 31s that should be pretty simple to price check. So this 2 times 31 Abra, we're going to go ahead and do the egg group. I believe it's, is it female or male? Uh, it was, it's male, which is a big deal. So the nature isn't going to matter on it, unfortunately, because it's timid, but it's going to be 31 HP, 31 attack, humanoid egg group, searching by male is actually relevant here. So looks like it's going to be around 40k. I could maybe get 50k if I list it for a little longer. It has a speed IV, I believe, at least a relevant one. 22 kind of relevant you could breed that up a little bit in a second breed i'm gonna do 45k i think right in the middle there is pretty valid i'm gonna do plus 45k let me know what you guys would list that for in the comments down below all right now i have two one times 31 abras that are both in one times 31 hp so they'll go for the same price now i price checked it as an abra and it's around 10k this one's been listed for seven days though i don't need to sell it for that i think it's actually going to go ahead and be better if i sell this for the humanoid egg group instead of being as an abra i could sell it for around 8500 pretty quickly um and i'm just like it's just a faster sell um and much more guaranteed for around 1k less pokey in it's definitely worth it if you can take shortcuts like that sometimes um 
if it's such a drastic difference in time of sale i do like getting every inch of pokemon out of pokemon usually but sometimes if the if you know if the risk cost is 1k it's definitely go ahead and worth it to just sell it as a quick sell uh, and make that guaranteed money so i'm gonna calc that at around 8500 i think that's fair so what does that end up being 17k for both of them go ahead and mark that up 17k to our total price check putting us at 169,000 bogey with two abras left to price check all right now this abra is one times 31 special defense it goes for the same price whether a group or abra so 7500 pokey in is accurate nonetheless so i'm gonna go ahead and put that in and we have one more abra to go ahead and price check i believe it's a one times 31 in like defense yeah defense all right so this is another pretty good example so this abra could be listed for around i believe it was like 8k as an abra or i could list it for around 7k towards the a group or even it could even go 8k honestly yeah these have all been listed for under three hours and such i think 8k is pretty fair for this thing it might take like 12 hours for it to sell but that's so quick uh, all of these should all sell pretty quickly. I actually get a lot of questions. I'm going to add this for 8K. I get a lot of questions in the comments, like, you know, show the post selling or, you know, do these actually sell enough like that? The the Pokemon Mo economy in terms of one times 31s and IVs is so consistent. I've never had an issue selling a Pokemon as a breeder for IVs. When Pokemon are consumed to breed other Pokemon, it just creates such a demand for other Pokemon and you will never find an issue as long as you're listing it for a fair price you will never find you almost never find almost almost never find an issue selling pokemon for iv value now the pokemon that i do sometimes get hung up on selling and it might take a while for is mediocre comps sometimes you'll sell on those for a couple months not everyone's always going to be looking for like a super niche like not everyone's always looking for like a tropius competitive pokemon like not everyone's always looking for these like niche comps that i'll sometimes make so those are the only pokemon that really get caught up but if you're selling pokemon like this if you're farming for one hour you will you should never have an issue selling these pokemon as long as you're listing them for a pretty accurate price but anyways after a very involved price checking session i hope you guys enjoyed it hope it wasn't too boring hope it was informative enough we end up with a total price check of 184,500 in pokeyin made from this now that is uh, the total, you know, revenue, not counting the total profit. So you have to factor in the cost of Pokeballs and the cost of listings as a guesstimate. I would say it's probably going to cost around 15 to 20 K for all the, po the Pokeballs are really cheap. Uh, Pokeballs and all the listing fees, something like that it might even be an overestimate. Um, I would say around 15 to 20 K. So I would say if you want to do profits, it's probably around 160 K. But yeah, so 160k profit or 184,000 Pokemon in one hour from Abra. I even had around. I used Pokeballs, uh, which I think I think after counting, you might be able to make a little more money using Great Balls, given the high, the high, slightly higher catch rate. But I think I, I had around four Abra run away, run away from me, maybe four to six. Um, it's around a. 60 to 70 percent catch rate i believe with a level 12 abra asleep with a pokeball so anyways this was loot from one hour of abra i really hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to go catch them for yourself to make some pokey in make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for future pokemon content it helps me out a ton uh and it's a good reminder if you guys want to see more content after this video is over check out the playlist links down below if you want to ask questions get price checks or learn about the game join my discord link down below in the, in the description as always and then if you want to go above and beyond and support my channel if my channel has helped you make some money on Pokemon Mo, get into the game, care about this game, and love this game, if you had a good time, you can support me by coming a YouTube member to me for five bucks a month, drop on a Twitch Prime or a Twitch sub over on my Twitch, or hit up my Patreon or my Venmo, which are all linked below. Thank you all so much, have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Loot From One Hour. Hey, you watch until the end of the video. I really appreciate that. This end clip is used to say thank you to all my YouTube members, Twitch subs, Patreon members, and Venmo supporters who go above and beyond and support this channel. You guys allow me to keep making content, and I really, really appreciate that. Thank you all so much. Have a great day.